Hello everyone and uh, thank you for tuning in. This is The Money Talk, a podcast by the Bank of Kigali, financially transforming lives. In The Money Talk, we will be diving deep into the world of finance. Think of it as your passport to the world of finance, where we're going to break down concepts, complicated concepts, and make them easy to understand. We're going to make them into easy to digest pieces. Now, my name is David and I'm going to be your host throughout this journey. In today's episode, however, we are taking a thriving ride into the history of finance in Rwanda, the history of banking. We're going to make it an interesting one and tell the story of banking in Rwanda. So stay tuned. This is The Money Talk, a podcast by the Bank of Kigali. Welcome back to The Money Talk, a podcast by the Bank of Kigali. So picture this. It's the year 1966 and the disco balls are grooving and uh, Rwanda was about to groove onto something better, banking. That's right. On December 22nd, 1966, the stage was set for something big. The birth of Rwanda's first ever commercial bank it was exciting. And so guess who the headliner was? It was Bank of Kigali. It was the rock star of the financial world. So Bank of Kigali came as a result of a dynamic partnership between the government of Rwanda and Belgalez, if I'm pronouncing that right, which was a subsidiary of Fortis Bank. And so they were dancing in harmony, or the partnership was harmonious, with both owning 50% of the ordinary share capital. Fast forward to 1967, the curtain lifted and the spectacular Bank of Kigali was born, stepping into the light and it became Rwanda's first ever commercial bank, setting into the scene. Continuing to operate, of course, the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi meant that there was a halt, but the Bank of Kigali reopened as the first bank after the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. The plot does thicken though, because in 2005, Fultis Bank decided to take a bow from Africa. Now, you might ask yourself what happened. So the government of Rwanda took center stage and it acquired the shares of the Belgolales. I'm pronouncing that right. And this was in 2007. And so it claimed 100% ownership of the Bank of Kigali. In 2011, following the revisal of some laws in Rwanda, Bank of Kigali had to change its name from Bank of Kigali SA to Bank of Kigali Limited. Then in 2017, it had to change its name from Bank of Kigali Limited into the now known BK Group PLC, with of course three subsidiary companies, which is BK General Insurance, BK Tech House, and BK Capital. So the next time you see BK Insurance or BK Capital or just BK, now you know where all that came from. But that wasn't the end of the story because Bank of Kigali has racked up quite a few awards in its journey, including the best bank in Rwanda, best East African bank, and many, 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 many more. All emphasizing its excellence and commitment to bringing the best financial and banking services to Rwanda. So that's just a quick dive into how Rwanda's first bank, aka the Bank of Kigali, came into existence. But hey, the money talk is no history lecture. What will it be about? Well, as I mentioned before, the money talk is your passport into the world of finance. We will be diving deep into some complicated uh, financial concepts that we may not understand as the general public. But hey, we'll be having guests, experts in the field from the Bank of Kigali and elsewhere who will be explaining these terms in a way that we all understand. So it's financial literacy, but in terms we can all understand. The best part about this is that you get to be part of it. If there's something that has always intrigued you, something that you don't quite understand in banking or in finance, you can always drop a suggestion and we'll be sure to look into it. We'll bring in an expert and they will explain it to you. We'll be talking about topics such as inflation, how to build a good credit score, how to secure a loan in Rwanda, and so much more, all in the world of finance. Remember, BK or the Bank of Kigali is not just a bank, but we are family. It's banking made simple. So choose BK all the time. 
So buckle up and enjoy the ride. It's the Money Talk Finances Made Simple. My name is David. I'll be your host throughout the journey. Stay tuned for more episodes. Goodbye for now.